Hi everyone and welcome back to another Bork Note Game video. Today's video is DK2, Mistakes to Avoid for Disgaea RPG. So let's go ahead and get started. Jump into parties right here. I'm going to tell you one of the characters that I personally recommend. Note that you don't have to go with this character, but I feel like she is pretty much one of the best when it comes to this game. So this is going to be Desko and this is why she's so good. Boss Revenge right here. It is an AoE attack that you get right at level 1. She's one of the best characters right out the gate and not to mention she is also going to have the ability her evil T is increases all monster stats except for speed for 11 percent so she's going to be absolutely amazing for any monster s teams so not only does she increase monster stats she also has the ability to pretty much aoe making her the perfect combo in pretty much farming right so this is going to be the thief my next tip is going to be having her you can actually select her in the beginning screens when you're starting the game this is going to be a google docs that i can reference and showcase you know credits to the person who created this and note here this is the selector where you can pretty much pick the four thieves at once and of course the importance of the four thieves is you know the increased chest drop rate so that means more drop rates when you're going through dungeons all right now this flows on into an important tip that's very very easy to miss note here that i have this 30 shell and this prism ranger and they're pretty much highlighted in yellow which means they're legendary gear so within the stronghold when you first start the game you pretty much have the ability to claim some presents make sure to claim your gifts as soon as possible as soon as you log in yes they are great for the nether quartz and pretty much getting you know re-rolls and all that stuff but if you jump back into the party the most important part is equipping the gear that is pretty much provided to you so if you click desco you click equip right here you hit auto it's going to auto equip that sturdy egg shell now some of you are wondering well that's pretty great look at how much like stats it pretty much provides if you don't wear it so 924 it's going to be providing 22 attack but there's something that you're probably not seeing you're like bored that's only 22 attack why do i have to worry about any of that stuff so the biggest thing is this innocent list right here and this sturdy eggshell is a gift from the publishers that pretty much you know help us release this game into global all right so this is what i want to look at most of all so you see this sturdy eggshell right here it provides exp boost and it gives you 20% EXP gained overall. Make sure to wear this as soon as you get it, all right? And note here, the ones with like the little like not so nice innocence, right? They have the little red like munchy face, like I hate you. That's because you're going to have to go into the item world and all that stuff. This isn't an innocent list guide. Just note that these can also turn into other things where you know something like the exp one right and don't forget to also equip the growth sword on one of your thieves because this provides exp gained as well it's just for a human so this is even more technical reasons to bring like a human and also technically a monster character because you get one growth sword for a human and then technically you get one monster item which is you know more exp for that character and the rest of them they don't really have exp gains they're just kind of there if you want to wear them this red beast is like really good for humans as well because it provides 1644 int really good for characters like sicily all right so next thing let's go ahead and talk about the actual like dungeons and what you're probably going to be doing within the game so if you go into this dimension gate right here one of the things that i want us to focus on is pretty much the dark gates all right so the dark gates is an important place note here that it has a number of times that I can pretty much jump in and you know the exp is pretty much limited now it's up to you whether you want to use your gate keys you get gate keys after completing missions or not and it's really not worth it to technically do it early on unless you just want to like you know rush through the content and just try the game but for me I just wanted to showcase this this is going to be an account that I'm really looking for I don't recommend this but the important part is if you don't have that sturdy eggshell on, you're going to gain much less EXP when pretty much doing this, all right? And I'm gonna show you one more method into making, you know, technically farming EXP a little bit faster. And the most important part here, you can see, you know, th this is like the fun, like the important parts of the game. Is it fun to watch? Is it engaging? 
it's you know like an auto rpg sort of deal so it does its own thing right now when it comes to this this is probably going to be the thing that you're going to be winned over by desco see there she just aoe dealt 2k to the entire team she's one of the few characters that can do that early on so it's very important to pretty much get her i feel it's up to you you can totally get lahara vavatoris or your waifu seraphina Rosalind, it doesn't really matter, but I highly recommend Desco. And note here, one of the most important parts is you get 10 SP or 3 SP after you like defeat characters. So that SP gain is going to play into our next tip, which is going to be fairly important. You saw there, Desco pretty much decimated the teams again, all right? But before we go into the importance of SP, I just want to show one more trick after, in case you can three star the stages, right? Because we pretty much did that and note, gate keys, use them at your own discretion. This is just something that I want to showcase. Feel free to add people as well. You know, you can request and add friends. Friends are going to be very helpful. I recommend bringing friend Desco as well. So we're going to use this gate key one more time. And one of the things that I wanted to showcase is that if you actually go into here and then you select someone, you can use skip tickets on the right hand side. All right. So that's super important in case you're like, man, I don't feel like farming. It pretty much jumps you into a loading screen and gives you stuff. Is there benefits to this? Does it affect anything? Yeah, sometimes you get like some less drops, but honestly, it's all RNG. And note here, the EXP drop, it doesn't get affected by like the Thieves bonus. Like technically, the Thieves can affect like other stages, like, you know, something like HL or the Reincarnation game, right? And then these Evil Tea stuffs, we can talk about it. If you go into facilities, you go into Mao's lab. This is going to be sort of like our upgrade menu, our upgrade section. Now, the thing is, is take everything with a grain of salt here. You can awaken characters, like let's say we want to awaken Desco, and then we can use our leftovers, pretty much awaken her. Just note that you need like at least five characters. I don't recommend doing this early on. Yes, she gets like some stats, you know, she gets from 728 to 874. It's a little bit of boost, but try to understand the characters before you just sacrifice them. Just because Desco is OP, you don't know what Flan and Etna and Beryl are capable of, right? So let's go ahead and jump back. This is going to be Nether Enhancement. Just note that this is a very expensive endeavor, all right? So you can see here, there's no characters where I can pretty much use in order to raise my pretty much Nether Enhance, right? The thing is, is you need dupes, all right? So you can see here, I have thief dupes. So technically I can use my thieves. I don't recommend using your thieves for this sort of purpose because you know, you can obtain like one of these evil teas, but note here, none of them are too great. They're all kind of like whatever, like dodge mastery, uh, basic stats, uh, not really important, I'm all. And then you have the nether printies, like nether enhancement printies. Do not sacrifice these guys. These guys are insanely important. If you actually go back, like the cost of them is like legitimately insane. So if you go into the shop right there where I pretty much clicked, you can see like how much like things can cost. So if you go into items right here, look at this nether printy. He's 5,000 jewels, gems or premium currency, whatever you want to call it. All right. Don't waste that dude. He is insanely expensive and not to mention the gate keys are 100 gems, jewels a pop. So... When I was saying use your gate keys sparingly, I meant it and it's probably worth to buy the 10 gate keys at the same time or the three, it's up to you. But I feel like this is the best like bang for your buck as far as everything goes. I don't recommend buying like the 100 ones. And then of course you can, you know, buy these like crab misos, but I don't really recommend it in the beginning. It might be best just to get gate keys if you want to level up your characters like early on. Okay. And then the next thing I want us to pay attention to is look around in the UI. Like sometimes there's going to be quests that like randomly pop up. So in this dimension gate, you should see right here on the right hand corner, there's like a lift quest that you can participate in. I pretty much completed it and it gave me 500 jewels. I spent some jewels already. So that's why I have 1400. And then if you go into the facilities right here, you can actually go into the nether shop or nether hospital, all right? This was a mistake that I didn't do early on in like earlier Disgaea games, but I know what the nether hospital is now. So pretty much the way this works is the more damage that you accumulate 
then you can pretty much get free rewards so you can claim free rewards like for example you can get the muscle muscle like piece of gear or some nether quartz all right so this is going to be some nice stuff that you can pretty much acquire and it's going to be sent to your gift box so make sure to claim it not to mention this is a doping roulette this pretty much allows you to get more ap hence why i have 127 ap so you know make sure to pretty much roll this roulette every single day it's very missable because it's hidden in this nether their hospital that's not you know you can't really see it right all right and then if you go into facilities make sure to go into the memory shops so for every single three star character that you get you can check their character episodes and then you can pretty much get 20 jewels from it or you know the quartz right the nether quartz you can skip this and this is pretty much like character stories so you can get to know the characters more waifus etna original waifu such as flan you know all the waifus in disgaea they have their own unique personality i absolutely love them i played the series i try to remember a lot of this and it's a lot of things but it's all good stuff at the end of the day all right one of the things that i also wanted to look at is yes there's a bunch of paid gotchas so you know don't go into those you can get dark santa laharo but he is uh you know like he's He's not like the craziest unit, he's an okay unit. He's has like this ability to give you higher drop rates, but note that three stars are actually pretty good. So some three stars, the pirate actually has the same ability as the Harl. So you really don't have to roll for him early on in case you're like, man, I need this character. So if you go into the Google Docs, right? It can actually show you that Laharl and that pirate have the same exact ability to increase drop rate by 5%. And just note that the thieves have the ability to increase drop rate as well by 3%. So a 2% increase, uh, it's not really a big deal, right? These are his skills. He doesn't get his AoE and plus it costs like 40 SP and it's at level 50. So I don't think it's really worth it to roll for him. Even if he's a limited character, it's up to you though. At the end of the day, if he's your husbando, then feel free to go for Lahara. Don't let me stop you. Just note that the pirate can do similar things as, you know, Black Santa Lahara. And just note that Dark Knight is also a good character. You know, he's going to be one of the best sword units. And then you can also get Blue Prism and the Professor. They're all in here. They're three star units. You can get them absolutely for free. So make sure to keep your eye out or pretty much look for those characters in case they pop up all right so maybe dark knight the professor and i'm not sure if we have prism blue yet within the game but if you see him around you know make sure to pretty much keep your eyes peeled for him he's going to be an important character so we've gone over like plenty of things right we've gone over the fact that you should claim pretty much your box as soon as you jump in claim your gifts everything goes into your gifts if you're wondering where an item is it's probably going into your gifts it gets hidden away in there make sure to pick the correct characters within your party like if you want to use someone who's geared towards farming i recommend desks go make sure to pretty much equip your gear you can see here i have nothing equipped just hit auto or you know this one and then make sure to equip the piece of gear all right the one with the little smiley faces not the one with the little you know angry red faces those don't really make any sense to do and then make sure to be very wary before you just raise your skills right so if you go into here or if you go pretty much to enhance you know don't just like level it up and next thing you know it costs more sp to pretty much use that skill Okay, so many things I pretty much just covered, you know, let me know if you have any questions below or if you want to drop more tips down below as well. I'll be doing a reroll guide later on. Just note that rerolling in this game is not really important. It's more important to pretty much grind and level up your characters, all right? Make sure to check the Nether Hospital and Memory Shops as well, okay? Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Once we have 17,500 subs, we'll be doing a giveaway. So one last gift from the publishers. The publishers contacted me and gave me a code. And you can actually input this code for some free goodies, some nether quartz, some crab miso, AP potions, and some premium summon tickets. So the biggest thing is going into menu. And then from menu, go to other. And then from other, 
enter the serial code that I'll be pretty much leaving. And this is going to be the serial code. Just note that it's only effective for seven days. So after seven days, you cannot use it. So make sure to share this video. Let everyone know the mistakes to pretty much avoid. Thanks so much for watching and have yourself a fantastic day. See ya.